uh, Your Honor, I, I beg to argue that even though we have not gone to the application itself, per se, you consider the fact that an infringement of a right cannot be just, no one should just walk to a, a court and make an a, a allegation on a very serious crime for purpose, as my learned senior said earlier, for purpose of only punishing suspect in the interim. When you know for sure that there is even no remotest possibility of succeeding in the main trial. If the courts are not going to be careful in these processes, uh, 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 your, your Honor, and, uh, and this is my closing remark, uh, Your Honor, it will be dangerous precedent being set because those who wield state power and who have control of immense state power are going to abuse their power by ensuring that they punish their political competitors in the interim using detention, preach, what Justice Nguki called pre-charge detention or what I would rather call as it was in our uh, previous constitution, detention without trial. And on a small matter uh, of out of persuasion, Your Honor was in the Nakuru court when we made these arguments before Justice Nguki. And within two hours, he made this very uh, uh, important uh, ruling. I believe Your Honor will, will also do the same in the shortest time possible to make a decision that will show that the judiciary of the Republic of Kenya is the place where everyone who feels persecuted will run to and would uphold the independence uh, uh, of, this, of this institution called the judiciary and the rights of the citizens of the Republic. We